Hey there, friends. How's it going? Today, I am back with you with a quick save manipulation, which is something we probably haven't seen on the channel for a long time. But it was uh, requested a little bit ago that I do a quick save manipulation, um, sort of related to my last one. This time, though, we're going to get 14 ginseng in about 10 minutes, as opposed to joy seeds. So as you can see, we're, we're going to be doing the same dungeon, Lightning Field. Uh, Lightning Field is great because it has all sorts of treats buried, buried inside of the wall. And it's very easy to take advantage of with just a mobile scarf, um, teleport, and, and some other cool tricks. So as you'll see, we know teleport, and then as, as per usual, I have on my Alakazam three frustrations chained together. This is good um, for the first floor especially, because we're not going to use it for the rest of the manipulation unless uh, you screw up by accident, which is okay. But it's it's good assurance for getting through the first floor. Which is which is good. As you can see, we're quick saving on the first floor. There is like five quick saves in this manipulation, I think. So it's a little complicated, but I I'll have the notes posted up on the Patreon. And you'll see here that I'm eating an apple. Um, that's just to make sure that we're consistent with my notes, because if if your belly is different from from mine going on forward with the quick save manipulation, it might result in in oh well, a different result. So it's good to have that that full belly for for consistency's sake there. You'll also notice along the way we'll pick up some safety max elixirs and even a safety reviver seed. This is again just in case, especially for the last floor. The last floor actually isn't really easy to manipulate, and you'll see why in just a second. I'll, I'll explain that when we get there. There's also some tricky movement in this in this manipulation as well, because you have to count out like, uh, for instance, that last one was you have to go I think 14 tiles upright, and then four four right or something along those lines. You'll see in the notes. But you need to you need to work on your counting skills a little bit for for this one. So so just uh, so stay vigilant. But yeah, we're back at it with some fairly straightforward floors here, six to seven. It's just a simple uh, simple movement. Here we're getting into some of the, uh, of the the cooler parts of this manipulation. I routed that floor seven specifically so that Magnemite would serve as a as a landmark for where that that ginseng is. Um, and then when we teleport out, it works so well that it takes us to a room with a warp trap, so we don't have to use another PowerPoint for for teleport there, which I th I thought was a cool trick. But yeah, the so theoretically you could also do this manipulation with a Pokemon that has. Uh, Rock Smash or it's a super super mobile IQ skill, but I find that it's probably easier for you to get a mobile scarf and it it's more supported for everybody routed this way because you can also get Alakazam pretty easy from Solar Cave. So Th this floor nine is also a cool one because you have to move a, a specific way down down that uh, that path of water to get that that ginseng, which was a a fun one to figure out. Overall, this is like a really fun manipulation to route for some reason. I, I had the darndest time trying to, to record it, but when I finally did it, it worked out quite well. And then it works out perfectly um, that we have food routed into the uh, the dungeon as well, so you don't even need to bring extra huge apples or anything. It's all all provided for us in the dungeon, because as you can see here, we're, we're eating, and that's just to, to make sure we have uh, enough belly to, to move forward, of course. And I, I forgot that you could find huge apples in the wall, and that was a that was a really a really a blessing for this one. But yeah, I, for these I finally wisened up. I'm I'm not really doing live commentary anymore, as you probably guessed at this point. This is this is post commentary, so you don't need to worry about me like babbling on and on. I can just edit this easily <laughs> and then just put it wherever I I want to in the the manipulation or the, the video for it at least. But yeah, friends, I'm almost out of ideas for these manipulations. So by all means, if you have any I ideas you'd like to share, please uh, leave a comment on the in the video and letting me know because I, I would love to hear more ideas. I'm, I'm starting to run out of ideas for, for Blue Rescue Team content, I'm afraid. And I don't want to, to run out because this is these are my favorite videos to make. And I'm glad I'm, uh, I'm back at this. So again, any any ideas you have, leave me, leave a comment on the video, send me a message on Discord. Um, 
talk to me and I'll, I'll be glad to, to, to work things out. Yeah, so here's another one of those floors. You have to walk up, I believe it's 23 tiles. And then you have to walk right four. And this is this is tough. This this can be a part in the in the run where, where things get screwed up, and that's okay. Because we have these extra max elixirs, extra apples, extra reviver seeds even uh, later on in the dungeon, it's okay. So just look at where where I land in the in the map with my teleport, and then just make your way over there, um, and then regroup the best you can with your food, your max elixirs, um, and everything that way. So I, I've tried to make this workable if, if you make a mistake, as opposed to some of my other manipulations, which everything is just like on fire if something goes wrong. So hopefully th this works out well for you. Um, the last floor in particular requires some, some adaptability. I, I said that before, um, but you, you'll see when we get there. Essentially what, what goes on is you get a an empty belly notification right as you're making inputs to get the one of the ginsengs. And for some reason, this notification completely screws up the manipulation, or at least this route I have. Because if you don't hold through, um, hold down the right button while you're going through that, that um, empty belly notification, teleport will take you to a completely different location on the, on the floor than, than is intended. And I, I screwed up entirely in this, in this run of it anyways, so you'll, you'll see how to, uh, to, how to adapt in this one. Just go to the, the room that I do, go to the, uh, the tiles in that room that I do, and you'll find the, the ginseng just fine. And then you can, from there, find the stairs, or you can just escape orb out like I do. <laughs> because I, I lacked the, the foresight to uh, recruit Raikou before I did this. So that was interesting. With the mobile scarf, actually, there's a way to take zero damage with any Pokemon, really, when you're fighting Raikou. You could defeat Raikou with a, a level 1 Pokemon, as long as you could damage it. There's, just because of the way that the Raikou boss map is laid out there's some geometry that you can sort of sneak behind with the the mobile scarf and then you can just attack raikyu through a corner as long as you have that equipped so it's it's a really cheesy way to to defeat the boss but that's what i ended up doing after i i routed this out because i didn't bring an escape orb the first time because i just thought oh i can get out of this it's the 29th floor but no So here we are, we're making some good use of the mobile scarf, we're, we're getting ready to move into the last floors of the dungeon, um, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk through the, the last floor when we get to that. Okay. So the first thing we do on this floor is we teleport. That's that's the easy part. From here, we walk upright as long as we can. So we run into this wall barrier up here. And here's the, uh, the part where you need to hold right through that. Now, what you're supposed to do is stop when you pick up this ginseng. But as you can see, I walked an extra tile and I end up in the wrong room. So what I do is I just use the mobile scarf to make my way over to this room that I'm supposed to be in normally. And then I just sort of recover the rod from there and escape warp out. And just like that, friends, this is, I think this is under 10 minutes. We've gotten 14 ginseng. So we can do the math and get some like ginseng per hour rate or something like that. And it'll be crazy. Um, but this is just a really easy, convenient way to, to farm these, these helpful uh, stat boosters. So yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed friends. I hope this is helpful. I hope you're um, as excited as I am as I am rather to see more quick save manipulations. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot. Join the Discord server. And if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, just let me know. Have a good one, friends. I'll see you in the next video.